everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are actually going to be putting little splinter aside because today's video is actually going to be my Tamagotchi collection as it sits right now. As you know a Tamagotchi collection is forever growing so this is my collection thus far. So I know quite a few of you have been asking for this. So here it is. Here we go. So the first one up is this little one here. As you can see, he's a little bit beaten up, but it is so cute. It is a 2017 P1. So this one is actually a remake. It is not an original. And how you can tell it is a P1 and not a P2 is the checkered background. So up next, I will show you some P2s. But this one is super, super cute. I love the colour of it. And it was going for a really good price on eBay. So why not add it to the collection? So up next are all of my P2s and I have two originals from 1996 and these are these ones right here. They are super cute. I do love them so much but I don't play them that much to be honest with you. Um, the original uh, P1s and P2s, they're... Uh, I'm a little bit more into the bigger gameplay sort of ones. As you can see, they are very old. So <laughs> these are my two original P2s. And next I have a couple of remake ones. So I have this one here, which is super cute. As soon as I saw this in the shop, I had to get it. Oh, the colour on this one is absolutely amazing and I love it so much just for its shell. As I said, I'm not the biggest fan on uh, the original P1s and P2s. I will still collect them if I like the shell enough. Um, but yeah, this one, oh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, I got to get that one. Um, and then I also have this one here. This one is super cute pastel colour but it's like a creamy white on the back and it is super cute as well. Um, I was a little bit upset because obviously you couldn't tell in the packaging but I was a little bit sad to see that the colour hadn't um, transitioned onto the back but oh well it's still super cute and I love it all the same. And the last remake of the P2s is this one here. And I love this one. The shell is so funky and fun and pretty. And I love the flowers on it. And here is the back of it. It is a little bit scuffed up because I did play it for quite some time. Um, so you can see some little superficial scratches on it. But they are remakes, so their value, mm, debatable. They don't really hold much value um, as much as the original um, retro ones, if you will. So these ones, they might be worth something to someone one day. So maybe there's a six or seven or eight year old out there that by the time they're 30 might love them or by the time they're 40 might love them, you never know. So they might gain value, but in my eyes, I don't know. I don't think they're going to jump up that much because even these ones you can find on eBay for super cheap. If you're wanting to bulk up your collection, you can find them for super cheap. Um, just be careful because some of the ones on eBay, they do come busted. So be careful what you're buying. Always, always read the description. Okay, so up next we have got the Angel Gotchi. And I super, super love this one. My partner got me this one. It was actually kind of, oh, it was near enough one of the first ones that you got me. 
um, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, around that time. It was one of the, yeah, in the, in the top five, maybe. <laughs> he has brought me a couple of the Tamagotchis in my collection. So, and he always finds the good ones for good deals. Oh, I always ask him, don't I? Yeah. How do you find them for such good price? But this one, amazing quality. And yes, 1997 was the year. And this is the back of it, as you can see right there, 1997. And the cool thing about this one is it's slightly different in care. So you are, instead of raising a Tamagotchi, you are training an angel. Um, basically, yeah, a, an angel in training, basically. And then when they are fully trained, they go off to heaven and they can be a fully qualified angel. And um, the fun thing is, is that they go out on little excursions and little trials and missions and stuff and you tap on it to get it to come back. Um, and also when you feed it treats, sometimes this little like devil bat comes down and tries to steal its snack and you have to tap, 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 tap it away. <laughs> it's super fun. So, yeah, this one's a super cute one to play and... Yeah, I really do enjoy it. I've played it quite a few times and each time it's always like, oh, like, you know, that's so cute. So I really do love this one. Um, this one is the gold one and I believe that there is a silver one and maybe a glow in the dark one. I could be wrong, but I think there is. So this one is the gold one and I do intend on finding the silver one at some point. Also, there is a Tamagotchi out there in the wild called the Devil Gotchi. It's the Devil Tamagotchi and it's kind of the same sort of idea as this one. But oh my days, go on to eBay, check it out. It is easily £500 or more. <laughs> so this is the Angel Gotchi in gold and it is beautiful and it's like this pearlescent gold I love it so much and it's holding up really well I've played it quite a few times its screen is great yeah it's it's a good quality one so if you're wanting to get your hands on um a different type of Tamagotchi the Angel Gotchi is super fun and the whole tapping feature to it super cool up next we have the Keitai V3 Connect and again I found this one for a very good price. It's got a couple of scratches on the screen but when you're playing it you can't really see it that much and this one is a Connect, and it is super super cute. Here is the back of it. I don't actually know why it says Vodafone on it and the year on this one is... It is 1997. I've wrote myself a little cheat sheet. I hope you don't mind. There are so many Tamagotchis to go through and you easily get muddled. So this one is super cute. I didn't not long ago actually get this one. I think I got this one the beginning of last year. So this one's super cute. And at the same time, I also got the next one. Before we move on, I also want to add in that this one is called the Blue Spaceship. So, as I was saying, at the same time, I also got this one here, and this one is called White Clover, and it is a little bit beaten up than the other one, but still in okay condition for its age. They are the same age, and... Yes, I love both of these. I've ran them together and they're super cute and I love connecting Tamagotchis together. So if there's ever a Tamagotchi that can bump together, connect together, I'm there. I love that feature of, you know, marrying together and it's super cute and I love these two so much. I love all my Tamagotchis. <laughs> Up next we have the Tamasuki version 1 and this one, oh my days, I've been wanting this one for ages and uh, it's a little bit beaten up. It's got a little bit of a chewed up button there 
but I was so desperate to try it out and it is so fun. I also made this little charm here myself out of polymer clay. He's got a little graduation cap on and he's so cute. I love making things like this to go on my Tamagotchis. So in this Tamagotchi, you basically run a school, so you don't actually care for any Tamagotchi as such. You care for the school. Um, you basically, the more pupils you have in your school, uh, the better the school is doing. So you want to keep on um, getting students in and getting them learning. And there's um, lessons that each Tamagotchi kind of likes to do and you put them in their lessons and you keep on teaching them to raise up uh, their educational skills and which helps the school's um, promotional business on being able to get more Tamagotchis to join. So this one is super fun and yes this is the version one and this one is 2004 right there and yeah this one is in Japanese so if you struggle um, with Tamagotchis this is a kind of a hard one to get your head around because it is so different from other Tamagotchis um, but yes this one is a good one but you just have to give it some time to kind of learn what's going on really so yes this one is super cute and I love all the the details and the graphics that come along inside the game up next I'm sure a lot of you know who this one it is Tamagotchi friends with a big scratch down the screen it is so old as you can see it's quite faded um I just really wanted to try it out and this was another one that my boyfriend got me um, for extremely cheap. He managed to get a good bargain on this one. Um, the thing is with this one, so because it's Tamagotchi Friends, you can play it on its own but it does better if you have multiple of them um, because they're friends. So it's, it's one of those ones that... Um, it's difficult to play on its own. You can kind of get a little bit bored of it if you don't have multiple of them, which I don't as of yet. I do intend to, if I see a good price, buy some other ones just for the collection. I'm not that big of a fan on the gameplay of it. Um, the screen is black and white and the screen is so dark. Um, the cool thing about it, though, is... Um, with like the, the, for example, the P1s and P2s, there is no background. It is just the little Tamagotchi boop, boop, boop across the screen. Whereas this one does have a background, but you find that the Tamagotchi actually kind of sinks into the background um, because it is just all black pixels. So you end up losing your character a little bit in the detail. So yeah, I still love it. I will buy more if I could find a good price just to kind of put them in a the collection. But I can show you some more other little Tamagotchi friend things that I've got coming up next. Okay, so first up we have this one here. It's so cute and very, very old. So I have kept her in the packaging. Let's bring you up just a smidgen more. So I have kept her in the packaging and it says that she loves robot class. Super cute. So cute. And here is the packaging. You can see that she was kind of ripped off the shelf by her tag hole. Oh, goodness. But I don't mind. I'm still going to keep her in the packaging. And here is the back. Super cute. Oh, I do love this one here. Oh, just looking at them again, I'm like, oh, this gives me a good excuse to look through all of my collection again, really. So then after her, I've got this one here. She's still got the, the little hoopy hoopy that got raked off of that one. <laughs> but this one is super cute and she likes performer class. So the packaging is slightly, ever so slightly yellowed, but... It could be worse. Honestly, old packaging, it does really, really yellow up. 
so this one is super cute and obviously they all go with the Tamagotchi friends but don't be mistaken they do not interact with the device they're just a side thing that came along with that Tamagotchi which I think is super cute they should keep doing things like this so we've got that one and then we have this one which is also the Tamagotchi friends that comes in packaging like this I opened it I have it in my cupboard <laughs> I I couldn't resist I do still have all their packaging in very good condition but I just had to have them out so that I could have them on my shelf you probably saw them in my last short video um and oh they're so cute so there's this one here, super, super cute. I love the detail on them and they're quite weighty as well. So I'm trying my best to not open these ones, but you know, they're so cute to just kind of have on your shelf just randomly around your Tamagotchis. And we have this one here, this one's super cute. It kind of reminds me of my Angel Gotchi. So there's that one with a harp. And then this one even cuter she looks like a little um like a flower doesn't she with her hair like that or kind of like a bit of meringue <laughs> and next we have this little one look at her eyes so cute but yeah they're so well made and they're just so nice to kind of have in your collection and then everybody knows this little dude <laughs> And I think he's really cool because he's such a good weighty little figure. And yeah, I love having him on my shelf. And then the last one I've got. Are you ready for this? I might have to bring you out even more. La, 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 la. You can't see the whole thing. Hang on. Let me bring you out, bring you out, bring you out. I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but I'll try my best to show you. Okay, so here we are. I'm sorry about any glare that pops up. So this is the Tamagotchi Friends playset, and I haven't opened it, not once. I'm going to keep it in there. Round of applause for me. Hashtag well done, Cozy Boo. And oh my goodness, it is so cute. So there's a little bench in there that they can swing on and little tables and chairs and there's a sofa and like this little thing here I think you can kind of remove and take off and oh my goodness it makes me want to open it and, <laughs> and up here there's like little coffee mugs and a little cake stand and another figure oh my goodness it wants me to oh I just want to open it right now but I won't <laughs> so yes this one is called the Dreamtown Music Cafe <gasps> does it play music no I don't know no I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna be like rip it open now <laughs> so it says a real working swing for two which you can put some little characters on I really want to but I won't and yeah, it doesn't say anything about playing music, but this is kind of like, I don't know about that. That's kind of, you know, if I was a kid, I would, you know, kind of assume that it plays music. I really don't think it does. But yeah. And here it says, I love everything music themed. Just a theme doesn't actually play music so there's that and all the Tamagotchi friends so on to the next one okay up next is the Tamagotchi Mame and this one is from 1996 and this one is not your usual Tamagotchi game this one is actually Tetris <laughs> and it is super fun um, I have played it twice, um, just to, once to make sure that it worked and then a second time just because I felt like it. Um, so I very, very carefully opened it up. As you can see, the sellotape is there so I could resellotape it 
Oh, naughty, naughty. I'm just one of those collectors that just has a really hard time just leaving things alone and leaving them in their box. I just want to play with them. So to all you out there that collect Tamagotchis and just buy them and then leave them and put them on your shelves, round of applause to you because I do not have that willpower in me to leave them alone. <laughs> so yeah, this one is literally, you know, your left, your right, and then your down to go down fast to place it um, and there is a pause which I do appreciate so if things are getting a little bit intense and you know things are falling a bit fast you could just pause the game and just whew, take a breather for a second and then carry on so I really do love this one and this is another one that my boyfriend got me. Round of applause for the boyfriend. <laughs> He's a good eBayer. He really is. Um as some of you know, but some of you don't, he is a Digimon device collector. So he's always scouring. And every now and again, he scours for me too. And I do appreciate that because he gets the bargains. So that is this one. And I absolutely love it. It's super fun. Coming in next is the Meats Sweets. And oh my goodness. Sorry for the glare there. This one is gorgeous. I have to kind of wiggle it around just a little bit because look at those shimmers in there. This one is absolutely gorgeous. So this is basically the um, the original on, uh, the original Tamagotchi on. So this was the first to be um, released well, not the first to be released, but this was before the on. So this is pretty much exactly the same as the on, but in Japanese. So just a warning for any of you out there wanting to get an on. If you see that it says Tamagotchi meets there and you want an English version, don't buy it because some of them do look extremely similar to the ons you may think that's the one that's the same color the same face plate but if it says meats under the screen it's japanese so do be careful this one is super super fun it is really easy to play as well um so it's exactly like the on and you do learn your way around it very easily um I may do a playthrough in the future if you're interested in seeing what a Japanese Tamagotchi looks like to see if, you know, some of you might be a little bit nervous to go into the Japanese world of Tamagotchis, but it's it's honestly, it's, it's not too bad. Um, and I mean, they're gorgeous as well. There's even glitter in the buttons. <laughs> it's, it's so cute and the diamante on it. It is so cute. But yes, this one is the Meats Sweets in yellow, obviously. And oh, they are gorgeous. Absolutely. I love them so much. And they have the connect and you can put a little charm up here. And oh, they're just a good, they're a good Tamagotchi. <laughs> I do love them so much. And just holding it again, I'm like, oh, I need to put some batteries in that right now. So <laughs> we will put it aside and we will move on to the next one. Okay, so as we just finished the um, meats sweets, I thought it would only be fitting to go on to the Tamagotchi Ons. So we have the Tamagotchi Ons here. This blue one, which is the Blue Wonder Garden, is actually my boyfriend's and he loves it so much. He had a good time playing on it, but it kind of sits at the moment in my collection. Where is that? Hmm. Hmm, I, wonder. Hmm. I wonder. You don't want it on your Digimon shelf, no? No, it isn't there. It's no. Okay, <laughs> he doesn't want it on his Digimon shelf. That's okay. I'll look after you. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Even though I put his screen protector on wrong and caught a bit of dust at the last minute. <laughs> but mine went on perfectly. <laughs> so, yes, this is the um, the Tamagotchi Ons. They are super fun and so 
content rich as well. There's so much to do and unlock and find. And there's an app that is still working. It's fan made. Bandai did remove their um, their app for it. But there is a fan made one, which is absolutely amazing. So all of us can still go in and marry and play mini games and make friends and all that good stuff. I love it so much. I love it when the fans come through and keep the Tamagotchi world alive because Bandai, you're, you're quite good at dropping things sometimes. <laughs> Just keep it alive forever, you know? And another thing also, battery, battery compartments. We like that. That means that they're not going to die. <laughs> I said that quite aggressively. <laughs> they're not going to die. Yeah. But unfortunately, with these little guys, they do have a life limit on them. So unless you're brave enough to unscrew it and put a new one in, they will eventually cease to charge. Whereas battery Tamagotchis, they last ages. They really do. So this is the Wonder Garden. And this one is the Magic Maggie. And yes, we brought them pretty much on release didn't we very mm. close to release so we got them for about 50 to 60 pound 40 to 50 pound yeah something around that 40 50 or 60 pound it was something it was so long ago but now these are so expensive let me tell you now heart to heart tamagotchi parent to another tamagotchi parent if you have an on don't trade it, don't gift it, don't sell it. Keep hold of it. Honestly, there are so many people out there that would do so much to get their hands on one and they are worth their gold. Honestly, keep hold of it for a little bit longer. If you need the money, then fine. But don't let go of them just to get something else because it's not worth it. So if you're wanting to like get a smart or a uni or whatever it is don't trade up your on for it it's not worth it so these are the tamagotchi ons and they are so fun so also i'll turn them both over for you there i have played mine quite a lot as you can see there are a couple scuffles there i have honestly i've played it a lot haven't i uh, yes a lot a lot so mine is showing a little bit more wear than my partner's so even though there's a face plates a little bit bubbly <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine i'll put your tamagotchi back on my shelf <laughs> and also here i made a little charm look at that i'm gonna go get it i'm gonna i, I replicated hang on I replicated. It was this one. There we go. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, so cute. So I love making things like that. I honestly do. Things to just keep myself busy. <laughs> right, on to the next. Okay, so up next we have the pics. I've only got one of these. I am a little bit teeny tiny bit tempted to get my hands on the green one i think it will be super cool to have a green tamagotchi so i i do keep looking every now and again to see the prices but not quite yet i probably wouldn't play it it would just be for the collection maybe i might give it a little go alongside this one uh, this one doesn't have any buttons. They are actually sensors. So you actually have to just bloop your finger over it and it will just pick it up. And also it has a camera feature. So you go around and click, take pictures of things. And that is super cute. It's like a little hatching egg. And that is a super cute little feature um, for the, the hatching Tamagotchi detail so that was a very good idea but it does drain the battery like no tomorrow this one's battery dies fast and it is 
real batteries so you will be going through batteries quite a lot i do use rechargeable batteries in my tamagotchis and yes this one does soak it up but the picture on this one and the animations are extremely cute you will definitely enjoy it um if you can get your hands on one i would definitely recommend it um if you're wanting to maybe dive into a coloured Tamagotchi, um, this one is English also, so you don't have to worry about any um, language or you not understanding what you're supposed to press on. And yes, this one is super, super cute. So super cute little um hatchy egg detail i do i just love pressing that also another cute feature about this is that they sell these super cute cases on amazon that fit this one perfectly um also you can uh, this one has a collectible feature on it also um that you go around um making foods and this and the other so uh, you take a picture of something green take a picture of something blue um, and then it will make it into a certain food and then it will go into your um, library. Another thing about this is you raise your Tamagotchis to send them back off to the Tama planet. And I do get a little bit sad when that happens because you kind of want to, when it's like marrying off your Tamagotchis, you still feel like you have a little bit of your old Tamagotchi still with you because you're following on its line. Um, so especially with, hang on a second, especially with the meats and the on, um, these have gene mixing. So when you um, marry um, on these ones, if you've, say, got a Memechi and uh, you um, marry it with, I can't think of a name right now, <laughs> my mind's gone absolutely blank. But if you marry it with another Tamagotchi, you'll end up with like Memechi's eyes, but the other Tamagotchi's body. And the more further you go down in the generations, the more mixed your Tamagotchi becomes. And it's super funky because you, you literally end up with this really quirky Tamagotchi. And also you can get twins on here so you can end up with um, raising two Tamagotchis at one time on one screen. And that is always super fun. I love that. Anyway, back on to the pics. So this one doesn't have gene mixing. So I do feel a bit sad when they go off to the Tama planet because they do just flat out leave you. And <laughs> just, they're gone. You don't marry off. There's, it does go on to a different generation but it is a completely different Tamagotchi. Your Tamagotchi gets sent off to the Tama planet and then it will bring down a new egg for you to raise and grow up and this, that and the other and teach things. Um, and so you could teach them how to cook, um, how to perform in like plays and stuff like that. And the games are super cute. And you use these to kind of, um, like there's one where they're on a roundabout and you have to kind of spin them on the roundabout. And when it goes too fast, you kind of have to slow it down like because they're like, whoa. <laughs> so it is super fun. Um, but if you've got batteries that recharge, I definitely recommend um, using those. And if you don't, then make sure that you have a lot of batteries because you'll need them. So this one I would definitely recommend getting if you haven't got one. And yes, yeah, so that is the Tamagotchi picks. Up next, we have the Tamagotchi Pac-Man Nano. This is tiny. Absolutely diddy. When it's in the mouth of the, um, whatever it's called, the Pac-Man head, um, it feels a little bit bigger. But when it's not in there, it's so tiny. It's literally that the screen is diddy. Like, let me, there we go. That doesn't even justify how small it is. When it's in your hand, honestly, it is absolutely tiny. Um, the gameplay on it, if you know anything about nanos, 
the gameplay is a bit lacking, but this does have a very fun Pac-Man game on it, which is quite delightful. I do enjoy it. It is quite fun and I do love the packaging on it. As you all know, yes, I've opened it. Um, so you can see that I've scored through the tape there. But yes, so you, this is the mini game here. So you go along and rip, 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 rip. those are my Pac-Man noises. <laughs> and yeah, real Pac-Man sounds included, which makes it that much fun. Also, raise your Tamagotchi with Pac-Man. And oh, it is, it is so fun. So that is the Pac-Man Nano Tamagotchi. And yes, this one's super cute. So if you're wanting a Nano, I would recommend this one. One that I do have my eyes on um, that I am thinking about getting. Um, I'm not that big of a fan on the Nanos just because their content is a little bit lacking. Um, but I am interested in the Toy Story Nanos just because you get to collect all the different um, toys and that looks fun. So I am interested in getting those for my collection those will be super cute but for now the only nano that i have is the pac-man up next we have the smart which is very similar to the uni <laughs> very very similar but the difference is well they do both charge so this one charges through side ports and this one charges through the bottom this one only has one button also these ones are just little fakey buttons and it is touch screen so it is really fun I have played this one a lot um and I've had a good time with it as you can see the 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 ports are a little bit yellowing at the moment um but they come with these little chips so this is the Nizu, um, they are a Japanese girl band um, and they are super cute and these are all their little kind of, not alter egos, but all their little, uh, what would you call it? Mascots. These are all their little mascots and these are smart cards. So you pop it in there and it will load on and you can unlock all of their little um mascots there and it is super fun so this one is actually a really cool tamagotchi to have um the only thing with this one is if you're a bit of a spam feeder um <laughs> you can't do that on this one you do this one is a very much more of a slower relaxed um paste tamagotchi so if you're in a rush and you're like just eat your food hurry up <laughs> like you can't do that on this one <laughs> so and I do love the the color on this one also I'm just gonna go grab something and I'll be right back right I've got it so with the knees you, you come with these cards that I have kept so these are the little mascots so these are all the girls so here we go and she's a little duck or a swan and there she is sporting her little smart there and we have this one this one's I think this one's the duck this one's a swan oh and she's got the blue one on oh this one's backwards hang on a minute no it's not it's just all of the girls together in front of a very funky bus oh look how amazing they look and this one I love so much. It's a sloth. <laughs> it's so cute. When I got this one, I was like, yes, so cute. And this one, little cat. Oh, and she's got the pink watch. And a little cat again. I got this one quite a few times. This one I love, the little sheep. Oh. And this one is a little rabbit. She's got the pink watch on and the little lamb. So cute. Oh, she's got like blue in her hair. I never noticed that before. I don't know whether that's showing up on camera, but she's kind of got like blue in her hair. How funky is that? 
And last of all, we have a little lion. So cute. Love her cardigan as well. So that's what comes with the Niju pack. You get a pack of all the girls and the smart card and obviously the device. And you get a, a, a white um, watch. So they are to wear on your wrist um, as well. So that's also a similarity to the uni. Um, and up next we have, because I just had to get another one, um, because they started bringing out other smart cards. Um, so I ended up getting the blue one and this one's just such a cute colour. I love this colour. And the reason why I brought this one is because I fell in love with this smart card. Look at these characters. They are so cute. Look, he's like a little seahorse and a jellyfish. They are all so cute and you get to unlock them all uh, depending on what you feed them so um, and also what toy you play with them so depending on what food what snack and what toy you use is what one it will turn into as an adult and then it stores in your room um, it's kind of a collecting tamagotchi again actually but yes the games are super fun also and Yes, I do love it. And look at that bedroom decor there. That is so cute. And obviously it has the watch faces as well because it is a watch. Um, these ones, unfortunately, sorry, let me just focus back in. Um, these ones, unfortunately, the smart cards only work in three devices. So um, once you put this chip into um, three devices, that's it. Um, it's gone so and then I got this one pew pew mail car <laughs> um I love guinea pigs and hamsters and rabbits and this one is super cute because when you get your tamagotchi when they grow into adult they get a little car that's next to them and I love this one that's got sushi on the top of it oh I love this one because this one really really does look like a hamster but they are so cute and they all have different like special rooms and special foods and this, that and the other. I forgot, I didn't show you the back. So I'll show you the back quickly. So those are all the, the different foods that you can get and accessories. And I'll show you the back of this one. There we go. So this game is really fun. You um have to kind of like tilt and dodge all the things in this car but it goes super fast so it can get quite difficult at times so those are the smarts and they are super fun and there are so many of these to collect and also um if you can't quite afford a tamagotchi meets you can get the tamagotchi meets smart cards so that's always good to know so that you can get um your tamagotchi smart but also kind of have a Tamagotchi meets as well at the same time, which is super cool. It's not quite the same, but it's close enough. Next, we have the Tamagotchi board game. <laughs> this was another one of those ones that my partner found. And let me turn it around. So this is the board game. So we have played it a couple of times and, oh, it takes ages, doesn't it? It does. It's a long game. It's a really long game. He's Christmas, like... A Christmas Day game. It was a Christmas Day game. We played it last Christmas. <laughs> oh, it goes on for ages. And it was quite competitive, wasn't it? Very. Like, you can almost, like, you have to start here and then you're you're going around and here's the finish. But there's, like, little activities that you have to do and... It gets so competitive, like honestly it does. So screenshot or pause here if you want to have a quick read through um, and get an idea of what's it about. It is a very fun game and it did take up some time for us. Uh, so it's not one of those games that you can kind of just whiz through and just be like, ah, we're done with that now. It does take some time, doesn't it? and also so I'm going to move the board game now so make sure that you had paused it pausing time is done we're moving on so also we have like little poops and two fakes 
and um, you're a little baby and then you turn into a child and then you turn into an adult and oh it's so much fun there's just so much to do and honestly you think you're winning and then you're not so you also have a color so each player has a color we happily played it just two player um and you press your color and then that will tell you um how many spots you can move and all that business and um other little bits and pieces really um so it can come up and say you've got two fake <laughs> and you can't really do much after that so <laughs> I think you have to miss a go or something. Um, we'll have to play again this Christmas. Definitely. He says definitely. <laughs> How supportive. Right, so moving on from this, it is a good game and I love it so much. Um, the device is in there somewhere, but it keeps on moving around. Let's try and show, actually. It's lifted up. Ooh. How exciting. So here is the device that it comes with. I did sellotape that on there to protect the screen, but obviously it's come off. <laughs> and here are all the little bits and stands and all that business. And there's just so much, but the board is so big, honestly. Oh, I love it so much. There's just so much in here. Just looking at it all again, I'm just like, Oh, I'm in love all over again. <laughs> this is a good video. I, I'm enjoying making this because just re-looking at your stuff is just... You should do it. I recommend it, honestly. If you have a collection that you've got and you haven't really got it down, get it down and just look through it all again. Hold them all. Just touch them. It just... It makes you feel good. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. This is getting weird. My partner's laughing at me because I was um, getting a little bit too emotional over that last one. <laughs> okay, next up, the Tamagotchi movie. <laughs> what would a collection be without the Tamagotchi movie? It's it's actually quite good. We enjoyed it, didn't we? Yes. You, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite funny. Um, yeah, you kind of learn a little bit more about each character. So, thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah very good tamagotchi movie not much to say i don't want to give anything away no spoilers on this channel absolutely not moving fast on we are going straight on to ds games oh my old childhood the ds these are good i still need the third one no it's out there it's i just keep not getting it right at the right time but yes, these games, they are super fun. So this is the first one and it is super, super cute. You have to, <laughs> the mini games on them. Like you have a dentist and you have to like clean their teeth and you get all these little tools and you have to kind of like pick out things out of the holes of their teeth and also like brush their teeth. And then um, the more... Uh, people these are the people at the door and they come in and you have to <laughs> sort their teeth out and then you can level up your um dentist and there are other shops down the street that you do the same thing um so again if you want to have a quick read of that definitely pause it now and do so and then the next one Oh, this one is just so good. I do enjoy this one. So, same sort of idea, really. Um, but the mini games are a little bit more intense. Um, you, it's a street of shops again, but you go along and, oh, this game's really fast. Like, you serve all of the people in the restaurant and you have to get all of their stuff just right so like here this person is asking for i don't know whether i'm going to be able to, it's so small so this person here is asking for a bit of sushi and there's the sushi and you have to keep getting things out just in time and this one is you play all the instruments and everything it's mad it's absolutely mad but it's fun um i definitely need to get hold of the third one to complete the uh collection but yes 
they are super super cute and I'm very happy with those so to finish off the Bandai stuff we're going to be going on to V pets but don't worry because there's a little secret whopper at the end so keep watching don't skip now, I, 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 come back don't skip no skipping is allowed <laughs> I'm watching here I have a little just a you know little bag <laughs> so I love this one so much I don't think he's gonna fit in there oh, go on splinter go on get yourself in there there we go splinter fits but it is more for it's quite a snug fit so it is a little bit more my partner passed me my there we go these ones are a lot more safer in there their screen is protected and you don't have to worry about those and believe it or not this is my favorite character so now you know if you've watched this video you know my favorite character so i'm super happy with that rolling on from my super favorite character let's just move things out of the way a little bit <laughs> Bing! how cute oh this is another one that my partner found and got and they're just super cute to just put on the shelf. I mean, you can attach them to a Tamagotchi if you want to because they do have the little holes in their heads, but I just like having them on my shelf. I have had to blue tack Mamechi's feet because he does like to just bop, <laughs> fall over a lot. Um, so, yes, these are super cute and I love them so much and it just brings your collection to life a little bit more right so moving on to the next okay so up next there's a fake <laughs> this one is actually super cute it is called the tumor pet i had to quickly check because there are so many fakes out there <laughs> named different things so this one is pet game dating machine <laughs> and it is actually pretty good and it already comes with a screen protector on it come on bandai <laughs> like, just give us those screen protectors this one is a fake and it comes with a screen protector on it already the whole the whole face look at that that's pretty good so this one is chargeable but boy oh boy it is so much content on it it is unbelievable it is quite hard to keep up with it's good it's got so much content on it you take them to school you have to do their homework otherwise they fail in school and then they have to do good in school to make it into university and if they do bad at university then they get a bad job and then they fail in life <laughs> and then there's a tree outside that you can grow um there's so much that my partner's smiling at me because he's like, what? <laughs> There's a tree outside? There's a tree outside that you can grow. So, but it does sound like the devil. It literally, it shrieks at you. So if you're a little bit sound sensitive, just be warned that it is a bit of a loud one. If you want me to turn it on, I will. Um, just let me know in the comments. But... I don't think it will be a playthrough. I could do a look through. <laughs> show and tell. A show and tell. But I don't think I would be able to do like a whole, for the beginning to the end, every single day playthrough. It is, there's so much on it and it is hard to keep up with. And if you work every day, it's a graft because you need money also and you have to work to get that money. Uh, I mean, you have to work to get money on this, but you have to work to get money on these ones. It's so hard. It's it's so hard. But if you if you're, it's quite cheap. It's a reasonable price. You can get it pretty easily. If you want me to turn it on, I'll turn it on and show you if you're interested. Just to kind of have a little play, then I'll show you why not. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so up next, we are actually moving away from legitimate 
Tamagotchis now. We are now moving on to my um, V pets and Pixel pets and Cyber pets and all that good stuff. So they're still good. This is the Neo pets from Hasbro and oh my god, my partner told me earlier that Neo pets is coming back. Oh, I remember being on that website and having all my Neo pets and having all the stuff and then it disappeared and literally last year I went back onto the website and it's still there like the website is still there but they're reopening it even more again so this is the Neopets Meridale playset and oh look at it it's beautiful so let's open it up I have done a video on this one already so if you're interested go and have a look way 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 down and you will find it this one is super super cute so you also get these little figurines so you have loop here super cute and you can place them down and then that is how it will know what character you're using and also so I've put it in for the darts board so that's the game we will be playing and then we have Drake here, super cute. And this one, oh, I love this one. I remember I used to always like make this one and make it yellow in on the um, the website. So cute. And her name is Ixi and I love them so much. And also it's kind of like a little Polly Pocket. Oh, come on, loop, there we go. So you can kind of just like around and, you know, oh, I'm going to go eat some hay <laughs> and all that fun stuff. So it is super fun. Lots of games to play on there. Also, I have done a video. Go and check it out. Um, if you wanted me to do another one, I will do another one if you have more questions about it. So that is my only Neopets one that I've got and I'm so happy because it is old. It is pretty, well it's 2003, but that is still pretty old and it's in pretty good condition. So I'm happy with this and it's got all the characters still intact in there also. So that is the Neopets Meridel playset. So on to the next. Up next we have Puni Tuppy Chan and I love this one so much. Sorry I got a bit excited there. I will say it again. Puni Tuppy Chan. <laughs> that is its name. So this one is like a boba. Oh my goodness. Words can't explain. Honestly, it fills up with a boba. Do you know what? Hang on one second. It, it, it needs to be turned on. Hang on. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> This is the Puni Tapi Chan, and you can. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I've literally set the date to literally 2311 just to get it to turn on. But these are all the ones I've collected so far, and you can mix them up really fast. Ready? They're so cute. It is a collection game. Oh, I haven't played this in a while. I think I just needed to see it turned on, to be honest with you. So go along. And um, so these are all our little bobas. And if we go back, I think it's this one here. I haven't played it in so long. So it is Japanese, just so you know. Um, but it is quite simple to get hold of. So it's... Um, a collection one so these are all the bobas that I have collected and there's like special ones that you can get I still need to do a little bit more on this page I still got a lot to get this one is scary but <laughs> I love it so much so oh it's so good honestly you've got to give it a go so this is a little game um we can use that one what is she doing i don't know what she's doing i don't know what she's doing right now 
<laughs> Hang on a second, I think I clicked on the wrong one. So let's go over, here we go. Right, so if we go over to here and we pick that one and we'll have three ice cubes. So we've gone for the color pink, three ice cubes and this one is sugar. So we'll go maximum sugar. Okay, so we need to catch a boba right now. So it tells us to wobble the stick and then push down when that glowing boba falls in. So here he comes. Oh, now, so we've squished and we're pushing it down and we've got to keep pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping. And then wiggle, he's got stuck. Come on, come on. There we go. Let's see what boba we got. Oh, we got a new one. <laughs> oh, that's unexpected. Wow, we got a new boba. <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay, so that is the Puni Tuppy Chan. Sorry, that was extremely loud. I have got the volume on maximum, apparently. So that is that and it is super cute it is only a half cup so don't you know think it's a, a full cup but it is super super cute and i love the fact that it's um you can see the straw through the screen there and mix up your bobas that is super fun off they go also another fun feature as well is if you just have it on your desk just sitting for a really long time all the boba um, starts to sink and just sit on the the ground of the cup and then the water starts to evaporate from the cup also and then they get all dried and shriveled <laughs> they literally look like little teeny tiny prunes and then you have to wiggle the straw again and then they will puff up and then your drink will refill so sorry I had to turn this one on so that is the Puni Tuppy Chan Okay, so next up is Bitsy. This one is super cute. My partner got this one for me not so long ago. Um, it's just so different. Like, it's just so funky. So I don't know whether you'll be able to see this very well at all. But there is a little lizard right there. I don't know if you can see him. But we can stroke him on his head and give him a little pat and he likes that he's like oh that's nice and we can go around and collect other ones but it does make quite a noise because this flaps up and down so that is how the hologram works and that is how you go through all of the pixies as well so all of the bitsies sorry so you just kind of scroll through but he's wanting to stay on the screen he's hogging it up so and you can <laughs> touch him and he'll you can't really see it on camera unfortunately that is why I haven't done a video because it doesn't really pick up on camera very well from what I'm seeing right now looking at it through my camera it's very choppy um, I don't know what it will look like after editing whether it gets any better but probably not if it looks all right on camera, then maybe I'll do a video. But from what I'm seeing right now, it is not showing up very well at all. So that is the, <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> that is the Bitsy. You collect all of these little creatures here and um, feed them. And um, so you're looking after all of them at the same time, basically. They'll send you a little letter. Um, so if you're looking after the dog, um, the little turtle can send you a letter saying um, I'm hungry and then you'll have to switch over to the turtle look after him and when you look after them they can turn into super versions of themselves and they get all snazzy outfits and look really funky and cool so that is the Bitsy again it does take batteries um, I should probably take the batteries out um <laughs> and not keep them in there that is bad tamagotchi collecting or bad um holographic pet collection <laughs> keeping 
Now we have the Pixel Stars. This one is actually really fun. Um, and it's a really good price. Um, I've actually got two of them. Um, I <laughs> I saw that they were like they were like two for six pounds, weren't they? Yeah. So I brought two, gave one to my partner to kind of play with, and he thought it was quite cool. So, so basically, there are three girls, um, and they um, all have different jobs that you can give them, and you literally design their whole house so you lift this up and you can use this to literally there's this house that you use these buttons to kind of keep going up and up and up their levels and you just keep making floors and just keep going and adding furniture and they get pets and everything and um Obviously, they have needs, so they have to go to bed, they need a shower, they need to go to the toilet. So you actually physically have to, you know, walk them to the bathroom and then they go to the toilet um, and you have to feed them. So you have to walk down to the kitchen and make food. And it is actually really fun and you get to dress them, buy them clothes and literally do wallpaper in all of the, the rooms and furniture, TV, sofas, even windows. So there is so much to do. And when it's on, it's really super cute because when you close it, she starts dancing in her window, which is quite funny. So that is the Pixel Stars from Skyrocket. And yeah, if you're looking for a little fun thing to do, um, it's definitely good and I could just hang it off bag and yeah, it's super fun. I do enjoy this one. Going along the same line of looking after digital girls, <laughs> this is my life. So this one comes in a bag and again, this is another one that my partner got me. He, he just loves spoiling me. <laughs> So, in here we have, let me get all the little bits out. So we have these cards in here that you can put into the device. Let me get them all. Oh my. How many more are there? Is that it? That's it. Okay, so we have these little cards. So this one is accessories. So you can plug that into the device and it will give you accessories. This one is also accessories, but it's like it has like um, cakes and stuff. This one is fashion, so that you get some extra clothes. This one is accessories also, and it's a necklace. Also accessories, there's lots to get of these online, but they are a little bit hard to find, but they are out there and another fashion one. So let's get the actual device itself out. So this is the device and you basically control her by moving around with this joy pad and pressing A and you put the, um, the chips just in there and like so and that locks on to there and I will show you a little bit of information about it. Here's the manual for it. So there's the girl there and this is the neighborhood that you walk around and all of that business. So if we go into, sorry the book's a little bit mashed up because it is a little bit old. It is English, you'd like to know. Um, so that's always good. So here we get to um, choose the height and the build and the skin tone of our girl and um, her hair and her face and all that good stuff. Really customizable, which I like. And yeah, choose a dress for your character. Uh, choose your character's style and obviously they do have a needs so their health energy hygiene learning eat and drink happy relationships and beauty um, and there's also the date and time so use the left and right arrow keys to access the function shown so there's character's identity a list of objects the map 
relationships, the daily timetable, that's an important one. You have to, this game is fast, like you need to be checking your watch and making sure that you're getting to school on time and when your dad tells you that you need to go walk the dog at this certain time or all that stuff, you have to make sure you're on time. Calendar, mobile phone, you're going to need that a lot and pets identity card and tools. And so here is all of that, their name, their birthday, and there's just, there's so much to this. And, but it does get a bit confusing at times. <laughs> it's, it's, see, as you can see, daily schedule, like free time. Oh my goodness. Like surely you can't just have free time all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> And the, obviously your little pet, um, there's dance competitions, uh, cook the sandwich, obviously there's your mobile phone, and there's all these fun little games as well. Well, they're, they're tests, sorry, so, but they are kind of games, but they're, they're tests. And um, managing your wardrobe and um, all that stuff. And another thing is the girls in the mall are quite mean. So <laughs> make sure when you go to the mall you're wearing really nice clothes. Because the girls in the mall can be pretty mean. <laughs> so yeah, you, you can get friendly with people and all that business. But yeah, these, these ones look cool. The Club Disco and Summer Party coming in fall of 2008. Wow. <laughs> so that is my life. And it is super cute. And I love the fact that it came with its little bag as well. So moving on. Okay, so up next we have the Pixel Chicks two-story house and this one is super funny. The things that this girl comes out with is super funny. So inside there is a little 3D um, room um, and this girl pops up like holographic little girl kind of like the Tamagotchi style, old school Tamagotchi style. She pops up and she walks around and she gets into bed, she brushes her teeth, she goes to the toilet. It is super fun. And how that works is you flip this up and you will see her. So on this one, we have in here her lounge and she comes stomping down the stairs. And if you ask her to go out, in her pajamas she will say i'm not going out wearing this and if you don't look at uh, look after her she will just literally storm upstairs she'll literally stomp her feet upstairs grab a bag and storm out <laughs> like it's so funny and then she kind of comes back a little while later like soaking wet like literally dripping on the floor there honestly there's so much to do on these and they are so fun so cute and also you can connect up to other ones so you can get other houses and stuff um and connect them all up and i love this one the two-story house is super fun um so moving on from this one and talking about connecting up we have the car and <laughs> you can connect Boop, these up together and it is super cute this little car and then she goes driving around and um you beep her horn and go through the radio and choose her destination of where she's going and if you go to the shops she gets out of the car and you can kind of see her walk off into the distance and she'll come back throw her shopping in the back seat and get back in and start driving again um she'll also put a window down and a fly will come in and start like harassing her in the car it's really funny so this is the little car that comes along with it and this one is called the road tripping car sorry i had to look at my little footnotes then so on to the next one, still Pixel Chicks themed, but better. 
So here I had to bring you out just a little bit <laughs> to be able to fit this huge pixel chicks house in here. So we will open up the doors and we have this little pixel chick girl in here that connects up and she is super cute and there's loads more to collect and this one is controlled by this and you it's on a little string and you can go through and do all the animations and stuff and this one is basically um kind of a bit of a, a frat house but for girls what do they call that not a put it in the comments what's a frat house but for girls i know it oh is it like d d delta no not no no that's the um the greek um thingies but is they're all frat houses they're all frat houses are you sure yeah. i don't know fraternity yeah. fraternity 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 okay <laughs> I'm having a little lesson over here. <laughs> okay, so that's basically what it is. It's these girls and they all want to live in this house, but only the coolest girl can live up top. So they fight to get up there. And it is so cute. Again, it's the same situation. They have their little bathroom here and a kitchen right next door. So it's kind of down here and we have like bunk beds no one wants to be in a bunk bed and you switch that over and you can kind of go up and down and flop it over to kind of get the animation to come up it and again we have bunk beds over here but in the top you have your own room oh yeah and your own bathroom so the lucky girl that gets up there gets her own room so this one is called the Pixel Chicks Roomies House and I love it so much. It is old and it is a little bit of a, a stiff one to move about but it does get there. You just kind of have to <laughs> push it down a little bit to, to get it to where it needs to go. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great it's it's super fun um and yes i love it so much so on to the next one is dun, dun, dun. if you watched my short yesterday you would have seen that i brought another one <laughs> we've got a lot more content coming he's got a friend so I am so super excited. We are going to open this up together and start from the beginning and we will be able to run two unis every day at the exact same time, double the content, double the fun, extra loving. I'm so excited. And yes, so this is the last one to my collection. That's it. We're done. That's that's everything. So, we will see you on a video very soon to unbox this and start up a brand new Tamagotchi together. So, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what Tamagotchi you would love to see. If you want me to um, turn one on and give a little kind of, you know, show and tell about it. Or if you want a little bit more of an in-depth video, um, let me know and I will get that sorted. And also, if you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. Honestly, I'm uploading every single day. If you love Tamagotchis, then you're gonna love the videos. It's all Tamagotchi related. Um, and if you're watching them every day and you're not subscribed, just click the button down below. Honestly, it will make my day and I just, I can't wait to get more people on board and I love talking to all of you and to keep the Tamagotchi love thriving and going. I know you're all out there. I know you're hiding out there. <laughs> Show me that you're out there and click the subscribe button. 
And with all that said, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.